Hi, welcome to the video. So today I'm going to talk about taking arpeggios and adding natural harmonics to them. So I was inspired to do this after watching the video by Augustine Hadelik, who's an amazing classical violinist, and he actually was inspired by watching classical cellists do it. For them, it was more keeping a clean sound while shifting, because with only four strings, you have to do a lot more shifting, and with no frets, it's harder to just keep it in tune also, so the harmonics just gave a cleaner sound when mixed in with your regular notes. What I'm doing is more just purely a creative choice. It's something that I think adds a little bit of contrast and a little bit of different sound. So it's something that I wouldn't do as my primary arpeggios, but I think can be interesting to add in as something different. So, for example, if I'm doing a basic arpeggio like a minor, I might just take and add in some of the harmonics on that. So let me go ahead and demonstrate the study that I wrote for us. And all this will be tabbed out. And you can download all of it for free on my Patreon page. The link is in the description. You don't have to be a member, though I'm not monetized. So anyone who wants to donate to become a member, I'd much appreciate it. Um, OK, so I'm going to play the study first. It's basically just a bunch of arpeggios with harmonics kind of linked together, and hopefully the, won't sound too bad, but normally what if I'm writing a piece using this, what I would do is maybe add in them occasionally, not on every arpeggio, like in the study. And then I'll also break down uh, a bunch of individual arpeggios too. So. So I literally just finished writing the, that uh, about 15 minutes ago, so <laughs> I was wanting to get that out of the way in case I forgot it halfway through and had to retake this since I don't do any editing on these videos. Okay, so let me go ahead and run through some basic shapes first. So basically I'm going to stick to the 12th fret for these shapes, just to make it simple. Your strongest arpeggio in natural harmonics will come at 12, 7, and 5. And if Hopefully you've already done natural harmonics, but basically you're laying your finger lightly over the metal fret is the main place that you'll get a good sound. But if you're not sure and not getting a good sound, what you can do is just take and put your finger lightly on the string, do some downstrokes, and then move it. And you can hear where the exactly on your guitar the harmonics come out and where they don't come out as strongly. Now, you can also pick your finger up after. You don't have to keep it down. That's just more for, the, for that testing exercise. Um, especially some of the weaker harmonics, you'll tend to muffle them a lot of times if you keep your finger down. Okay, so a lot of times after you get it, basically your finger's muffling slightly so it doesn't vibrate fully. After you get that done, by lifting your finger off, you don't worry about have to worry about muffling it more. Okay, so let's run through some of these basics. So I'm gonna show the major and minors for your basic bar chords, and then I'm going to show a few more after that, and then I'll run through that study at slow speeds. So if I'm doing a minor here, just like a D minor, what I'm going to do is use these two notes as my harmonics. Now I could move this to a different position and have different notes be the harmonics. So this, feel free to choose whatever notes you want it for harmonics, and I'll get more to that in a second. So, so that, that's that major. And the major down here. So here I'm doing the three notes here. Both the major and minor are off the sixth string. I was just doing the fifth and fourth string. And then the minor which I did right at the beginning of the video. Okay. Now, you could also choose where you put them. So for example, if I'm doing this fingering, I might do it as a first note, but then I might do a finger, different fingering. You could do the same finger, but I'll go ahead and just do some different ones. So I'll do a minor, that was a minor, this is a minor flat five. So there I put on the second note. The first time I put on the first. 
very put in the third note. So the harmonic can be on any one of the notes, or you could put there on the second and fourth. So you can put in more than one, uh, and all these are tapped out. So don't worry about that if you think I'm going too fast and so on. So, um, so it's a choice. The one good thing about putting it as the first note is you can actually let that ring and harmonize with other notes if you want, but you can also just muffle it with your hand if you don't want it to keep ringing out. Um, and the, if you have two notes on the same string, like I used in some of the study parts, just realize that, especially if you're putting the note first and then putting the note after, you're gonna eliminate it. But even if you're coming here, when you put down the other note, it's gonna stop the harmonic. So let me go ahead and play through this slowly. And keep in mind too, I'm playing just clean into my amp without really hardly any distortion on it or gain and with just a little bit of reverb. If you want them to really sing out more, um, you might use distortion, compression, other effects and stuff to really bring them out more. Uh, um, so I start off on this and I notated on here too on the music. So the top two lines is why I was just going through. The study starts down here. And I notated what NH for natural harmonic over the ones I'm doing and the um, names of the chords, or not chords, arpeggios. So this first one, I'm basically outlining a G major seven, but I add the nine in here, then I come back for the seven. Actually, there's no harmonic there. And they add the 13 there, then I come down and finish it. Then I just do a G major straight, come back down, but end on this note so I can come back into a D major, then I insert down the D major again. At this point I'm switching to a C major. Instead of doing this note I'm just doing it back here and then we go down the shape. Just a transition to get to the next part. And then this is just this B minor. This is the beginning of a A minor 7. And then I go into what's actually a C major 7. But I'm starting on the 7, then going back to 5th. And then this slide through those notes. Then I'm basically coming from this A minor, but I'm starting on this a note right here. Then go down to D minor 7. Now, other than that D minor 7, this is basically all in the key of G, so at that point I switched keys. Uh, then back to A minor. It's just in that G note. And that was that whole part. So when you're working through this, feel free to pull out any of these arpeggios that you want from the study. You don't have to do the whole study and just work those individually. Also, if you see, you know, if you're doing one of these other arpeggios we did in the beginning, for example, of course you can add in a seventh or other notes to it, or like I did in the study, add in a nine. So vary it, alter it as any ways you can or want to make more variety try it in other positions like with a seven or five you might find some of those though if you guitar doesn't really sing out your um, harmonics they might get kind of buried in it so that's why partially i wanted to do up at the 12 make it easy for you guys but also make it so that it doesn't sound bad you know some of them won't sound balanced when you put them in the arpeggio so you need to be careful on that um, again on the video that i watched that inspired me to do this they're talking about cellists doing them because you know they've got much bigger fingerboard and the shifting position and stuff creates noise so the harmonic can be a way to make it quieter so it's more of a practical thing for us it's more of a choice and you know i'm going to mess around with some more myself i encourage you guys to do the same and you know see if i can put it into my playing and improvising a little bit on it so thanks for watching please subscribe um, click like I'm trying to build my channel and all this stuff helps leave comments I'd love to hear from you guys thanks for watching